My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, this is the seventh in our series on temptations. We are still trying to master the evil one, have control over the situations it presents before us because God has given us the strength to overcome. Today, we want to consider one of the things we must do if we have to overcome temptations. And one of them is this. It is important that you keep yourself busy by doing something godly. Keep yourself busy by doing something godly. There is an old saying that says that the devil finds work for idle hands. In fact, somebody says that sometimes we tempt the devil to tempt us when we are not busy. When we are free, when we are lazy and about. We tempt the devil so that he comes to tempt us. Somebody also says that sometimes even when we have finished committing the sin, the devil looks at us and says, hey, this one there, you two, you have done some. Because even the devil is surprised about how much we are able to achieve in the field of sin. Now let's take the example of David in 2 Samuel chapter 11. 2 Samuel chapter 11 begins by telling us that when all the kings had gone for war, David sent some people for war and was at home. Check, David is a king. Check, the kings have gone for war. Check, David is a king who is at home when all his colleagues have gone for war. What is he doing lazying about? Now, look at what happens because he was lazying about. Laziness moved to boredom. Boredom moved to lust. Lust moved to adultery. Adultery moved to murder. He was beginning to graduate in sin. From one little sin to a greater one. When you don't keep yourself busy, doing that which is pleasing in the sight of God, the devil will surely engage you and he will get you up to what is no good. So my dear brother, my dear sister, keep yourself busy in the Lord. Find something to do that will please God. Pick your scripture and read. Get yourself involved in something that is productive. Something that helps other people. Something that engages you. So that you do not give allowance for the devil to come and tempt you. It was interesting what David went through. Because when he didn't go for war, he went to see somebody's wife. When he saw somebody's wife, he went in for the person's wife. When he had gone in for the person's wife, he invited the person to come over. So that he could orchestrate something so that this man would go sleep with the wife. And then we could say that the pregnancy belongs to him. The man does not go. One of the most wicked things you can do to a person is to give him his own death warrant in his hand. Send him over to the one to kill him without his knowing. David does so. This man goes to the leader of the troops at battle and the instruction says that take him to where the fighting is fiercest and when you get there, withdraw and leave him alone. They withdraw and they leave him alone. The man dies. David has this on his hands. I don't know what you will have on your hands when you don't keep yourself busy. So if you want to overcome temptations, keep yourself busy, but busy doing something that is godly. May the Lord bless us now and forever. Amen.